Now we'd like to welcome on Nathan Auni from Union Omaha Defender. Nathan, how you doing, man? Good, man. Happy to be here. Uh, doing as best as I can with the circumstances. Yeah, yeah, I know. Today, you know, would have been the home opener. You know, we've been on the field for the in Omaha for the first time. Um, and just Corona, man, just keeping all of us down. But you know what? We're gonna keep our spirits up keeping our spirits up. So I, I, you kind of came from Reno FC, um, kind of, you know, kind of nice climate, kind of pretty, you know, good coming out to, out to a Omaha where it's been humid and snowing for you. How has that transition been? Yeah, um, it's been fine. It's been easy. Uh, when I first got to Omaha, there was, it was a lot colder, a lot of snow, but we trained indoors, which in Reno, it was cold when I got there as well, but we trained outdoors. The the staff would mm -hmm. plow the field before and stuff. So it's nice to have an indoor facility here. I've never lived somewhere though where it snows six inches and then two days later it's sixty six degrees and sunny and then the oh, rest man. of the week is sunny, <laughs> so in April. So that's been a transition, but honestly it's been great. Hasn't gotten too humid yet. I I've heard it's gonna get more humid. So Okay. Trust me, it's going to go downhill real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, you know, today, you know, would have been obviously the first home game of the season. Um, so if we were to assume that this would be, you know, game day today, what are things that you do that helps you get game day ready? Uh, game day ready, I, I usually, I mean, the biggest thing for me is just what I'm going to eat when – when when I'm going to eat and what my meals are going to be before a game. And honestly, I'll schedule those out and I'll just, I'll, I'll lay low. I'll rest a lot. Um, I don't do anything crazy until, until later on when it gets closer to the game. And I, I've eaten, I've done my meals. I've, I've just rested all day. I'll shower and I'll start listening to music and getting myself w woken up a bit, drink some coffee and <laughs> Get, get get to get to the facility and then really start start turning it on there. I don't do a ton. I'm not very superstitious or anything like that. So, okay, what's a lot that? What start once I get to the to the facility? Sure, for sure. What so? What is your go to game day meal? If you had, if you had to choose one to get you in the mood, you know, game day, what would it be? Usually, eat like eat pastas. A lot of pastas on game days, just because it's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit lighter. Um, chicken, chicken and pasta basically is probably probably what I would go with. But they usually get us meals on the on the road that are chicken and pasta before a game, and then in the morning I'll cook up some eggs. Nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing crazy. All right. No. Well, you kind of alluded to it. So one of the cool things that Union Omaha has been doing has been providing you guys with food. Yeah. Uh, for like lunches and dinners and things, which is tremendous on their part. What has been your favorite so far? Honestly, what we just got today was probably my favorite. Oh, what was today? <laughs> we had a we got burritos from Burrito Envy. Oh, great place! And I thought they were fire chicken burritos. Hmm. But we also um, we've had lots of great food. We had Block Sixteen for dinner. They brought us some sa a salmon dinner that was awesome. Noli's, the pizza place, brought us food. Meatball, corner kick. Uh, a couple other Mexican spots that have been bringing us food. It's been delicious. So that's been really nice. They've gotten us groceries as well, which has helped out a ton. Oh, that's that's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's awesome. So, yeah, like, um, so where can we find you on social media, Nathan? Uh, I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I think pretty much is Instagram and Twitter. Um, I don't use them a ton, but Nathan underscore Ani or Nathan Ani, uh, you'll be able to find me. I'm number four, so so you'll see me out on the field. Get your jerseys. Jerseys just dropped. They're really sweet. So yeah, they are. They are incredible jerseys. I can tell you what. And then what what do you, what is your response to it? So obviously the club kind of came in, you know, said, hey, you know, kind of kind of support COVID and the fun and everything. We're going to donate. What is your take on that? I think it's awesome. I mean, I think it's awesome that they uh, are able to do that are in a position that they can make that happen. Um, there's not a lot of pro clubs or if any that have done something similar to that or to that extent. Uh, I think it's very professional on their part and, and it's, it's really cool from a player's standpoint. Um, 
Personally, I don't think a ton about the sponsor when I'm like, I've, I've just been waiting to see the jersey just as the fans have, you know, waiting, <laughs> waiting to wear the jerseys and stuff. So, um, like, my initial reaction is from a more aesthetic and how it looks um, response, and I thought they looked really good. And then they fit really well at their quality Nike jerseys. And then to find out that there's a good cause and what we're doing is, is you know, helping out is, is really cool that we were able to get that done and still have a really cool jersey. And I highly recommend that that if you're able to, to go help and we're thinking about getting a jersey before and the season, there's, there's great reasons too. And show it off on social media. We'll, we'll respond and let you guys know that it looks good. Awesome. Well, Nathan, thank you so much for joining on the pod today. And again, if you want to go find him, go find him on Instagram at Nathan underscore Ani. Nathan, again, thank you so much, man, and just can't wait for you to see you on the field. Yeah, hopefully soon. We're, uh, we're itching to get back out there. Thanks for having me.